year that featured some pretty handy players like Will Ashcroft and Harry Sheasel, who've made an immediate impact at AFL level this season. Clearance here to Curtin. Distance for a smaller player, he's a powerful kick. He reads the cues very well, the ball's coming into the forward line. He can also push up and play through the midfield. Curtin with the intercept mark, lost his footing, snapped inside 50. Found for Vic Metro, will rebound towards the wing. A lot of players around this footy, falls to the back here. For Lactides, clean gather. Couldn't quite find a teammate though, Ferreira. He was tackled off the ball, but just out towards Kynan Brown, but had a bit too much juice on it. Another turnover though by WA. Vic Metro's pressure is hot, but Curtin is a lovely kick. He clears danger over the head of Smith. Metro again at the back. Reed. It's a hand pass out. King scrapping for it. This ball will be locked up. Uh, also, and, it's, and then there's Ethan, Ethan. Reed for the, for the Allies. Oh. So three that uh, uh, very likely draftees or certain draftees for this year. Yeah, respected kids this draft year. Terrific atmosphere. The first of two games at RCA Park today. Umpire's called a throw, so Curtin will receive the free kick. He's coming up for disposal number six team high for Western Australia. Uh, really well set up behind the ball um, and good pressure on the ball from the WA forwards has allowed them to get that ball back inside 50 and get a couple of shots on goal. And scrambling yeah. kick towards De Havilland who's in the right place. Today, a long kick to a big pack caddy in there. Sean, uh, you start to look at things like his height. The height never stops anyone. Boomer Harvey told us that many, many years ago. If you're good enough, you're big enough. Yeah. But trying to convince an AFL coach, do you try and pick a 170 centimetre player in, in the top five? That debate will probably be on this week, as yeah. soon as this week. Maybe that's five years ago. But, uh, yeah, I think if you if you need one, you'd have to go pretty early. That type of player. If you will Brown's leading the way. He's had five clearances already in this game. Oh, lovely shark there from Hotton. Taken away, though, by WA and Curtin. It was... WA's best player in that first. Towards half forward, hoping for Livingston. Kick ill directed, pounced on by Sanchez. Handball was good to Curtin. Big moment coming up for Dan Curtin. What a feign. What a kick. Hits the post. Ball hits the deck. Zakostelski on top of it. Fed it out to Curtin. He fed it out via hand. This is where they're falling over. The pressure of Vic Metro strong in the forward half of the ground. Curtin again. Smothered off the boot. Terrific from Watson. How awesome was that? The smother. From Will Brown, the skipper. WA quick to bring it in. See if they can go for them. Uh, and they'll be looking for more, a little bit more competitiveness and, and potentially just control the ball a little bit more in offense. Across the uh, coach talent league and one of the key messages for Logan was to build the tank. Yep. You're going to be that 191 centimetre uh, forward, the third tall. Still going O'Driscoll. Keeps it alive along the boundary. Well done. Hand pass to Curtin, who was immediately tackled by Philactide. Distracted as Weatherall. Now hot in the looping hand pass. Good pressure from the WA defence. Spills to Johnson. He tries to get boot to ball and can't do so, and then is brought to ground. Turns and goes. And kicks inside 50. Watson at the fall of the ball. See the next wave of AFL talent on display. Johnston was involved but couldn't quite get it away cleanly. Curtin pounces on the ball. Kicks to half four. Big one-on-one -on -one here. All comes to the back. Yeah, I like Matty Lloyd yeah. doing some work with those boys at Halbury. Perfect bounce in the middle. Curtin gets boot to ball. Scrambles it to the wing. Takes a nice grab and wants to take off. Sends it to half forward. Livingston oh, slipped through his fingers. At the back coming through hard was trainer. Getting some effects. Big Metro. King towards a one-on-one. -on -one. That's a terrific pluck from Dan Curtin. Prospect he is. Hardiman to do the kicking in duties here for WA. To Curtin. Disposal number 20 for Dan Curtin. Vicentini palms it down. No winner from that throw-in. Three goals to two. Vic Metro's way this quarter. Been dominant from the outset. Nice step inside there by Wills, but just ability by Vic Metro today to start the smother a kick or a handball is very noticeable. Curtin gets free though, and a well way to kick. This is Fonte towards the wing. 
And Curtin, does he mark it just inside the line? He doesn't. He spills it over the line. And this is probably his second game where he's played exclusively midfield for most of the game. He's doing the ruck work here and giving away a free kick. He really can do everything. <laughs> Off to find Kelly. Ships it down the line. It's a nice one. Finds Curtin. Five back in his year against Vic Metro. Kick four goals. He's a very skinny boy. You've seen the vision of that. Uh, would be barely 78 kilos at the time. Fonte, hand pass away to Curtin. And WA can exit the danger zone. Torrent collects. Yeah, yep. What it's saying is that the Northern Academies, the, the setup through through New South Wales and Queensland is working. We've also got obviously Tasmania and. and that was the statement made last week when the Allies beat Vic Metro. Yeah. who were not dependent purely on the Victorians. I think that if, if the people at, uh, at Sandringham suggest that about you, you, you set high standards for all the players in your group and you're going to get the very best out of yourself. The final margin is an 81-point victory to a dominant Vic Metro. There would have been some concerns and some eyebrows raised when selection...